And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu today, live action from the Pro League coming up. Stuart, what are you expecting? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. And introducing the starting players for Al Hilal. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And they kick off here. A foul, but advantage played. Alioski, Philip Braderic on the ball. Back now to the goalkeeper. Al Shahrani. Giving the ball away. Al Soma, Carlos Eduardo, can't miss, surely, oh marvellous save, great goalkeeping, Igalo, Salman Al Faraj, here's Al Dossari, that's the kind of player you want from your defender, Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Igalo. Tackling. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, just look at this again. It's a brilliant piece of skill. He strikes the ball cleanly, he gets his standing leg out the way quickly, and he hits straight through the ball. And that's why it moves so erratically. Great free kick. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next.
Carlos Eduardo. Can he find the net? Well, fantastic reflex action. Al Shahrani. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And attempting the through ball. Must be. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So, 2-0 now. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he must proceed with great care. Could easily have been cautioned. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Al Buraik in the right place to cut out the pass. Al Soma. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Top-notch defending, but the chance still there. And clears his lines. Marega. Takes the shot. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half.
Salman Al Faraj. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Good looking ball. Philip Braderich on the ball. Beautifully disguised ball. And a goal! Yeah. There it is! They've done it! Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Yasser Al Shahrani almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Nicely cut out, a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He's going forward well here. The cross is on. Could be. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Arega. And Pereira here. Alsoma. A move of promise on the flank. And options in the centre. Marega. And he read it well. But they could run onto it here. Marega. Is it going to be? Well, he so badly wants that hat trick, Stuart. Well, that was the chance for the hat trick. But the way he's playing, he's surely going to get it today. Al Mokawi. Here's Al Soma. Running with the ball confidently. Well, this would help them get back into the game. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Gustavo Cuellar. Mateusz Pereira. 
Al Buraik. And intercepts again. Oh, moving it nicely. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Defenders need to cover. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Alioski, Philip Braderic on the ball. Here's Alsoma. Braderic. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Al Shahrani. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.